Hello everyone, let's have a brief discussion on Nadine Godimer's July's People ending. Uh, the ending of the novel, July's People, uh, culminates uh, in a quote, provoking and ambiguous ending. I know, uh, I think you know the meaning of ambiguous. The, uh, it can have like more than one meaning, several meanings. So it has an ambiguous ending that leaves readers with a profound sense of contemplation. Uh, the story, you know, it's set in the apartheid, apartheid era, South Africa, follows the Smalls family as they escape uh, to the rural village of their black servant, July, in the midst of the violent revolution. The ending of the novel uh, encapsulates the complex and shifting dynamics of race, uh, power, and human connection. As the narrative unfolds, uh, you can say the characters' uh, roles and identities become uh, increasingly blurred. Their character roles, their identities become increasingly blurred. You can give examples by taking Maureen, by taking uh, um, Bam, like that. July, uh, once a servant, assumes even July's character. Uh, because he was once a servant, assumes a position of uh, power and responsibility. Uh, while on the other hand, Maureen and Smalls grapples with her changing role within the family. So the ending of the novel leaves readers with a sense of uncertainty. The ultimate fate of the characters and the nation itself is uh, left open-ended much like the political and social upheaval in South Africa during the period. Hmm. Uh, the final scenes, you find several uh, scenes as final scenes of the novel. They are filled with the tension and ambiguity. Uh, the same, once again, tension and ambiguity without giving away any spoilers. Uh, the conclusion raises essential questions about the price of freedom, uh, the complexities of human relationships and the harsh uh, realities of revolution. It focuses readers to confront the moral dilemmas faced by the characters, uh, challenging them to consider the sacrifices and compromises made during the time of uh, societal upheaval. So July's people invites the readers to reflect on the enduring consequences of apartheid and the long-term effects of racial inequality. It also underscores the uh, notion that true freedom comes at a cost uh, and that journey towards uh, just a society is fraught with difficulties and paradoxes. So as a summary with what we have discussed, uh, the ending of the novel, July's People, is uh, both... Uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, thought-provoking and uh, enigmatic. Uh, it leaves readers with uh, an unsettled uh, feeling, with an open-ending or unsettled feeling, compelling them to ponder the intricate, uh, uh, intricate interplay of power, uh, race, humanity uh, in the context of revolution. Uh, so Godimer's uh, masterful storytelling and complex characters make the novel ending uh, 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 novel's ending a testament to the enduring impact of the work and intricate uh, challenges of uh, post apartheid Africa. So you can take this as a as an essay type question, uh, analyzing the ending of the novel July's People. Uh, what type of ending is there in the novel and how do you uh, uh, make a comment, write a comment about the ending, uh, whether you justify this ending, what kind of uh, uh, other ways of ending, what kind of possibilities uh, are there and uh, what kind of developments you see in the characters, how each character developed or how each character became blurred. Um, you can make a comment. So this is just an idea. Uh, for you to think about a food for your thought. So keep in touch. Uh, any other question or anything you can suggest or any, any question that you can uh, you would like to discuss, you can um, send under the comment section. So let's discuss them in future. Bye.